var helt fantastisk, da vi skulle øh, gå, gå ned ad gangen hen til scenen. Jeg, jeg, jeg har aldrig oplevet noget lignende, at jeg fik lov at gå og high-five folk langs, mm. langs, langs, langs gang og alt muligt. Og folk de råber og sker mit navn, når jeg spiller gode runder og sådan noget. Det, det føltes helt fantastisk. Jeg fik også guldegysninger, da, da, jeg, skulle, da jeg så introvideo derovre, at jeg skulle gå ned ad scenen. Så det er noget, jeg har, jeg har drømt om i al den tid, jeg har spillet. Ikke? Altså, jeg har set så mange andre hold spille på scenen og sådan noget. Og nu får jeg selv lov at prøve det, og jeg ved, at det var en fuldstændig fantastisk følelse. Svært, det er svært for ord at beskrive, sådan, især når man har spillet for at prøve at opnå noget så længe, eller arbejdet så hårdt for at prøve at opnå noget i så lang tid. Jeg ved ikke, at den forløsning man får, jeg, jeg ved ikke, jeg tror ikke, jeg kan sætte ord på det. Hvad er det, du gør for at holde dig selv? Jeg tror ikke, at 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 jeg i don't think it's smart to hype yourself up to like this big thing where you have to perform in one hour because then you just put a lot of pressure on yourself. So I don't do anything specific and I don't try to overthink it. Jeg, jeg tænker faktisk ikke så meget over, at crowdet er mod os. Altså, når jeg kigger ud på crowdet, så ser jeg jo bare en masse af Stradsfans sidde lige foran os. Så for mig føles det egentlig fint nok, men jeg kan godt mærke, at, at der bliver jublet lidt mere, når Maus vinder runder. Um, men altså, det er ikke fordi, at det påvirker os sådan rigtigt. Vi har også snakket om, at vi vidste godt, at det her ville komme til at ske. Vi havde ikke forventet, at vi skulle gå ind og være favoritter, i hvert fald ikke crowdfavoritter. Vi havde ligesom forberedt sig på, at vi skulle bare tage stille ud. I was kind of like scared to go into this tournament because it felt like we were gonna get smashed. But um, yeah, I feel like everything else happened really well and we did really good. But my expectations were really low in the beginning, for sure. Can you talk about a little bit about playing together with Asgard? Definitely feel like he's helping the team, like uh, emotional wise and bringing in a lot of like uh, just good communication within the players. And I definitely feel like he he's helping us out in some ways. And, He's just a good guy in general, so I feel like he's a really good fit for the team. After the first match versus Mouse, what was some of the first thing that went through your mind? We're gonna win this. I felt like we were gonna win that match. We knew what we were supposed to do, and it felt that the, no one in the team gave up. So it was like a really good mentality that we had going into the second map and the third map. Det var noget fucking godt, når alle som sidder i en kæmpe kø og det 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 er det der skete på det map der, men nu har vi lige fået det ud stenet, og så nu det nu det flækket tid. Kold mand. Nok mand. Det er noget der, man. Fuck den vandflaske! Fuck den vandflaske! Jeg må hellere gå op. The veto went as it should against Na'Vi. We expected the three maps that we were going to get. We did came a little bit less prepared than we did against Maus, because the more time you have, the more time you will also have to prepare. So we, we, we came pre prepared, but not at the same amount as we did against Maus. Na'Vi knew what happened. I think they knew exactly what we were doing uh, inside on, on New York City. Um, they went dived so many times that it was unbelievable. This is the first time it really happened. I think I mind fucked myself a little bit because I wanted to change too many things from the day before because, you know, I am sure that they are prepping as well. So I am thinking like maybe we should do something else than we did yesterday. And I think I changed too much stuff. Uh, I should just tweak some small details and stuff like that instead of um, making maybe the other guys confused and confusing myself a little bit. So yeah, I think I, I tricked myself a little bit. Navi Mirage, what happened there? <laughs> well, yeah, I think the it was a little bit of a Danish choke. I think I feel like we threw it away. We start on CT side. Everything is going really well. Uh, win the pistol round. Win a lot of rounds in a row. Um, I'm not even sure when they get the first round, but we kind of get into a really good lead. And I think at some point we're leading like 11 to two or 12 to two. Uh, and this, the, the half is ending 12 to three. Uh, and then we go to the T side, we lose the pistol. Uh, they did a stack on A side. It's not like we are down like eight to zero. We are getting some rounds uh, here and there. So we are at 14 at some point. I always try to think round, round by round, but when you're losing many rounds in a row, you also have to think about what's going wrong. And I feel like we try to do Tactics, we try to do fast things, we try to switch it up, but it was just a small margins. We get that 15, but we still feel like always oh, scraping these rounds together. It's not, there's no easy round for us. My one-on-one -on -one against Perfecto, which 
I feel like I should have won. That was pretty bad. Uh, I don't know about the other guys, about their mistakes, um, but I usually almost always remember my own mistakes. And uh, yeah, I think in, in those two situations, I could have helped my team a little bit more. I could cry. I, th I felt like it was just a, a hit in the chest or like someone was sitting on my chest. It was just hurting so much because I feel like we had the opportunity to go on a third map and who knows what, ha what would have happened on, on overpass. But yeah, it was definitely like a really shit game for us. And I could feel it in my teammates as well. When we lost, I was screaming, fuck. I remember me just taking the headset off, just yelling as loud as I could because I feel like we should have played a third map and maybe we would have won, maybe we would have lost, no one knows, but I think we deserved the, the third chance. I could feel that the level was raised individually by every member of the team um, and that felt good. And it was like the synergy is getting better as well. And I think that comes with the individual level as well, like people starting to believe more in each other. Like if, if I let you alone over here, you will just take two down or something instead of I don't have, I can just focus on my own a bit more. So that felt really good. I think that made a lot of difference on our CT side and our T side. I think I, I called a bit better at this tournament than I had done before. And I think I'm starting to realize how, how I want to utilize my players on this team. Um, so I think in the future, we could see a better T sided Astralis. <laughs> I think that I changed how I view myself and how I view the game and how I view the team. I feel like I focused too much on being an aggressive player, taking too many risks and trying to help the team too much instead of thinking about what like I'm what I'm used to doing and what I'm capable of. And I try to like overextend in some situations. And I feel like uh, that's probably the main thing that I changed. And also like my mindset that I'm not here to kill 30 every single time. I'm also here to help out my teammates. But of course, when when you have high expectations to yourself, you always always manage to let yourself down. And, I kind of like try to push it away. How would you sum up like the, the entire experience? Uh, roller coaster of emotions. Goodness. I feel like that's the perfect one because <laughs> no one thought that we would make it this far. We didn't ourselves. Uh, so yeah, I feel like it's a roller coaster of emotions. Now it's finally going a little bit uphill compared to what has happened all the other tournaments, losing to all the good teams and beating the teams that we were supposed to beat. So now we actually have a have a chance to 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 show that we are actually a decent decent team. I think it's really nice that we will manage to reach the semi-finals of Cologne. We, we have been needing a result like this because in practice we have felt like, okay, we can actually play against the best, we can actually beat the best, but in official games we have never been able to show it. But this time around, we beat Big, who just came out of as victorious in the, the Rupert online thing. And we beat Cloud9, we beat Furia, we beat Mouseboard, which has beaten a lot of other teams. We won a quarterfinal uh, at a stage, so this tournament was really good for us. We took the number one team in the world to an overtime on second map. A bit better calling for me on T-side new. I think maybe we could have gone to a, maybe a third map. So um, yeah, I'm pretty happy and I'm pretty satisfied with this tournament. And I want to bring the momentum for the next season.